Yeah, it happened here on the Bricktown Canal back in September 2018. Three years later, both families are now starting the fight against the company they believe is responsible. This video shows the moment Wesley Seely fell into the Bricktown Canal along with the 277 volt bollard he had just placed his hands on. Minutes later, Brandon Gann jumped in to save Seely. Seely was electrocuted and pronounced dead at the scene. Gann was rushed to the hospital where he spent weeks recovering. Both families naming Libra Electric Company as a responsible party. Now, all parties are in court, leaving it to the jury to decide. I think that what this family needs to hear, both the Gans and the Seelys, is the truth come out. I think that um, it's important that the evidence be presented. And today a roadmap was laid out for the jury about what that evidence was going to be. Opening arguments revealed Libra had operated on the bollards six months before the accident, removing some of the screws that were holding the bollards down. Lawyers for Libra say they were working on the bollards, then stopped, never getting to the bollard that fell into the canal. They left the area secured with yellow caution tape and turned the electricity off. Off. Days later, Libra lawyers say the city turned the electricity back on. Libra lawyers saying the company is not at fault. Instead, the family should have sued the manufacturers of the bollards or the city of Oklahoma City. Gans, his wife, and Sealy's mother were all in attendance today, all getting emotional during times when the first responders were giving testimony, recalling those life-saving measures that they performed. The trial is expected to last two weeks.